Hi everybody, it's Ellen with Keeping Sisters Creative. We are going to be making some homemade hand sanitizer today um, with some of the things that I have already had in my house. And um, researching it, we figured um, out a formula that um, seems pretty easy and we're going to show you today. I made some earlier and it seemed to work out pretty well and um, I used the 91% isopropyl alcohol that I had here at the house and using aloe vera gel and that is to help with the, um, the harshness of the alcohol um, that dries out your skin. The aloe vera gel helps to um, retain the moisture and then it also helps to thicken the um, consistency of the uh, sanitizer when it's all completed. Um, so we're going to start with two-thirds cup of the alcohol and I'm going to go ahead and measure this out and try to show you. It is two-thirds cup and let's just see. We are about there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in and then we'll go ahead and measure out a third of the aloe vera. And it's definitely thicker. Put that in. That's going to measure out to the one-third line. It makes all kinds of fun, <laughs> fun noises too. Uh, I think we are about there. Maybe a little more. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and put that in. And I'm going to get the whisk that Maria recommended. And that's going to help to mix all that up. It takes a little bit of time for it to mix. And what we found is that after a little bit of time sitting, after we pour it in the bottles, that it tends to thicken up a little more too. Now, like I said, I just using what I had here at my house, and it, the recipe does call for uh, using essential oils, um, lavender, uh, Maria was saying she used lemon on hers, and um, unfortunately, I don't have any here at my house today, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this, and basically the essential oil is to help with the scent, and figured I'm gonna give this to my husband, and he's not gonna want anything like really um, flowery, or, you know, he's, he's pretty good with just uh, strong smell. And so, as I'm whisking it, it's starting to mix. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to the bottles. I had these bottles here at my house. Like I said, you can use the things that you already have. And I'm going to go ahead and put this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my measuring cup. And see, it's already started to thicken in here. And my funnel is a little bit big for the opening of the bottles that I have. So. I'm going to use this and my trusty bowl to help me with this process. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that, probably whisk it a little bit more in here because there is some stuff in this measuring cup. But see how it's already started to thicken? And I'm going to go ahead and just pour this in here and what you can also do is maybe not fill it up so much and then you put your lid on and you can just shake it and that's what it looks like you go ahead and let it fly <laughs> and see it just shows you how you can use it and I'll probably get some essential oils to put in there but it doesn't smell bad it smells like aloe vera and um, you have a nice bottle of hand sanitizer that you were able to make and in our current times it's really coming in handy for us. So I hope this video was helpful for all of you and it was really helpful for me to be able to know that I had an alternative. So thank you so much for watching and we hope you all just take really good care.